This Excel file is malicious. Opening this file leads to my passwords being stolen and my bank details being intercepted. This Word doc is also malicious. It downloads a keylogger, captures all of my private info and steals passwords I store in my browser. And this file is black matter ransomware. It demands I pay a Bitcoin ransom to recover my files and is connected to two of the most prolific ransomware groups that we've seen in recent times. Hey, I'm Colin. For those new here, I talk about malware attacks, how to analyze them and how you can protect yourself and your organization from cyber attacks in general. So please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Today, I'm gonna to show you the power of Intezer. I used Intezer to deep dive into these malware attacks, and I'm gonna show you the features that I most love about this platform. Intezer is free to get going, but I will also talk about some of the cool features you get if you look to integrate this platform into your security team in your organization. I'll also show you some of the new features of Intezer, including how to analyze malicious URLs, and more importantly, how you you can use the platform to go threat hunting for malware across your organization and stick around to the end of this video i've got some bonus features to talk about and i guarantee you're going to want to know about these if you work in a cybersecurity team or if you're simply interested in malware analysis and you want to deep dive into some research we have got tons of stuff to get into so let's get right into it Okay, so let's dive into some of these samples then within the Intercert platform. Now, if you're a key decision maker within a security team and have responsibility for how your incident response processes operate, well, Intercert is all about fusing together people, process, and technology. From a people side of things, this platform is gonna help simulate the skills and experience of senior analysts to give you out-of-the-box capability to understand whether a file is malicious, how malicious, and what you need to worry about about. From a process side of things, this is going to help you really speed up your alert triage time and your incident response processes. And from a technology point of view, Intercept interfaces with other technology platforms that you've no doubt have got in your security stack. Now, if you're a security analyst and you are faced with this myriad of alerts, which no doubt you receive on a daily basis within your security operations environment, your job is really all about making very quick decisions. How fast can you understand whether something is a serious issue that needs to be escalated or needs to be investigated further? Well, this is again where Intercert is gonna help you. Within just a few seconds, you are gonna get a really confident view on whether a particular file or URL is malicious and also what the key indicators are, what the key behaviors are, and also the key facts about that particular investigation so you can escalate and triage effectively. Now, if you're that person that receives that escalation, if you're one of the kind of senior response personnel within an incident response environment, well, again, you are going to know, have confidence in all of that uh, information, but you're gonna to wanna to know the key facts, like how malicious is this? What is the actual intent of this malware? What is it linked to? But then more importantly, how can you detect and threat hunt for this malware across your environment so you can understand the full scale and scope of the potential issue? And so if you see here, we've got this Excel file that I showcased earlier. So this is this normal looking Excel file. It actually has a few macros. If you have a look at the macro code itself in the Visual Basic Editor, we can see that this, it's an underwhelming amount of code here that actually references a load of content which is stashed away in the uh, actual workbook body. If you scroll down, you can see a load of encoded content. It's gonna take me a while as an analyst to actually pull all of that out and decode it and work out what this malware is doing. But this is what Integer is all about, streamlining those processes. So as if you're an analyst and you're a tier one specialist and you really wanna just understand quickly, is this malicious or not? Well, you've got a very quick view of, yes, this is malicious. And here's the key facts that you need to know about. Here's the tools, the tactics, the procedures. Here are the key indicators of compromise. In this case, it's pulled out a malicious domain. And also as well, you can see from a behavioral point of view, here's what the malware looks like when you interact with it from a user's perspective. Here are the processes, here's the network activity, and here's all the file and the registry activity as well. And so that's typical kind of sandbox stuff. And actually with the Intezer platform, you get all of this for free. You can scan up to 50 files per month for free and get all of this detection content, no problems at all. And it's really, really good for analysts to get going with and be familiar with this kind of environment. It's very, very similar to other sandboxes which are online, but really what kind of separates Intezer from other platforms is this new detect and hunt feature here. And so knowing 
all of this stuff in the behavioral side of things will get you so far, but you really want to know what is relevant about this malware that I can use? What key facets of the malware can I take to go hunting in my environment and actually build some detection logic? And so here we've got this activity-based and file-based detection opportunities section. So these are opportunities that we can use to go and hunt within our seam or within our EDR platforms to go looking for evidence of this particular malware throughout your environment. And so you can use this handy little filter on the side, this pyramid, to go look in. Here's the kind of file read activity. This is the slightly noisier stuff, but here's the things which are just unique about this malware. You can also have a look at the process activity where the where there's registry write activity as well. Again, unique to this malware. It's not the operating system stuff. It's not all of the noise that you would see in like a sandbox output. This is the stuff that's pertinent to this malware that you really wanna go looking for and you can start to then build some rules about. And at the top here, you can see the process activity, MSHTA invoking run DLL32, super weird, unique to this malware. We definitely wanna go and look for that. Take a look at another sample as well. We've got Formbook. So Formbook is a, uh, in this case, a doc file, and it uses actually an exploit to drop code onto the underlying machine. So super quickly again, um, Intercer will tell you that this file is malicious. It also tells you that it's previously analyzed this uh, particular sample. We can have a look at that previous run where it's identified the malware family as Formbook. And you can see that the uh, we have a full uh, memory dump here of the processes we can see here that it's used the equation edit vulnerability to actually deploy code on the underlying system again we've got a full list of tools tactics and procedures high risk medium risk etc all mapped to the mitre attack framework so we can see what the capabilities of this malware are really quickly what the intent is we can see this process injection we can see this it uses execute exploitation for client execution that particular technique as well and we can see a full list of indicators of compromise again if we see any of this stuff in your log files elsewhere within your environment then that's where you should then point your investigation to next as well again we can see the sandbox uh, behavioral analysis the process tree what it looks like under the hood we can even download a pcap of all of the network activity and give that to your forensics team if that's who you're working with again we've got this detect and hunt feature as well we can use the filter on the right on the left hand side to filter all of the pertinent stuff out but we can see here we've got some file write activity that's unique to this malware and it's even associated and has been seen in other samples such as Lazarus as well so you get the kind of uh, idea of how we can start to attribute this malware to particular families and also for actor groups as well so super easy to use we can also let's have a look at this black matter ransomware sample too so again if we just want to know from a binary point of view is this file malicious or not Intercer will give you that out of the box if we're starting to escalate this now we really want to understand the pertinent facts of this particular malware what is it related to what is its capability and more importantly how I can go detecting and hunting for this malware in my environment well we've got all of the TTPs here we've got the IOCs as well we've got some domain IP addresses, file-based IOCs also, the full behavioral analysis of this particular malware, and then again, this new detect and hunt feature, which is part of the enterprise license within Intercer. But you get you can try this for 14 days, but this is the kind of commercial arm to this platform that's really going to set you aside from just being a normal sandbox. So Again, activity-based detection opportunities. We can see stuff that's written in the registry. We can see the network activity, and we can see file read activity. All of this stuff you can download as a CSV. This is the kind of stuff that you would then take into your SIEM, into your EDR platform, build some detection rules around, knowing with a high confidence that if you see any of this activity, then it's related to this malware, should be investigated further. Now, if you are looking to integrate this platform into your existing security stack, well, Intercer will help augment the data that those other platforms collect. As an example, if you have an EDR client, an endpoint detection and response client, that is gonna alert you to the presence of potentially malicious files, but you then need to take that a stage further you then need to go hunting for evidence of compromise elsewhere in your environment and that involves you having to understand what the malware's capabilities are but also you need to determine whether or not the alert that you're given is actually a false positive is it malicious to begin with and if it is malicious is it super serious that you need to start escalating this because there's some kind of linked nation state activity all that kind of context you don't really get from an EDR client on its own and this is how 
Integer can actually augment that data for you. Well, how does one platform talk to another? That's where this integration list from Integer will really help you. It integrates with EDR platforms, in this case, Sentinel One. More integrations for EDR platforms are on the way. And also for SOAR platforms as well, and other security tools, which we'll dive into in just a second. But the Sentinel One integration is awesome. How it works is when the EDR agent detects some potentially malicious behavior, that file is going to be sent to Integer automatically for analysis the analysis result is going to get sent back to the edr agent and you'll have a note posted within your alert uh, system within the alert in body itself for the edr client and you'll be able to see some additional context of the actual alert itself here's a prime example we can see here on the left hand side that sentinel one's engine has marked this as malicious it has an ai confidence level of malicious we can see some basic details of the malware itself that is detected but then it's down to you to further investigate that it's also be down to you to go and further hunt for that uh, evidence of compromise in your environment but also it'd be great to know what malware this is and have a full report about the capabilities of the malware also how you can go and detect and hunt this particular malware and so you can see on the right hand side this is where this automated note from Intercer has kicked in and given us some greater context we can see that this malware is the part of the Zeus family it shares over 1100 code genes that Intercer has been able to identify it analyzed that it's got two indicators of compromise and we can see the full report in the analysis platform also as well you can see this example again this is where sentinel one has an ai confidence level of this file being malicious it's alerted you to the presence of this jump cloud installer it reckons it's got some kind of malicious behavior but in fact you can see the automated note that's been added from integer suggests that this is actually trusted code this is a false positive alert and it means that you are able to close this alert down as a false positive with confidence knowing that the code genes are actually shared with legitimate jump cloud installers and therefore you don't need to waste your time and energy re researching and investigating this particular incident. So in short, Integer is going to help you really streamline your incident response processes. It's going to help you reach decisions quickly in order to escalate appropriately and really level up your game with respect to malware analysis. Okay, so let's talk about one of the other enterprise features of Intercer. We've spoken a lot in this video about the file analysis. In other videos as well, I've mentioned about Intercer's capability to analyze endpoints, even cloud workload protection mechanisms as well, and also scanning memory dumps, etc. But here they've introduced a new feature, which is the ability to scan and investigate malicious URLs. So you can paste in the URL, very quickly understand whether or not that URL is going to be malicious, and if it is, why is it malicious? So let's give it a little example. So we can paste in a URL, hit analyze, much like the file analysis engine, just takes just a few seconds and it's going to pull down some really pertinent information for us and make a decision and give us a view super quickly whether or not the URL we've pasted is malicious. And this is available on the API as well, so we can really start to embrace this automation. We can very quickly see the URL I've pasted is malicious. It has an API score of 100. The web page contains phishing characteristics. We get some domain information as well. About the registrar the creation date and also the redirect chain we can see some intelligence indicators as well this is facebook themed phishing we can click the screenshot that it handily kind of displays for us as well so we can get a feel for what is being currently displayed and we can also see that this particular phishing site appears on some block lists as well that obviously adds to the whole malicious behavior of this particular url so it's really nice and easy so it just kind of encapsulates all of the really pertinent information into one easy screen to look at we get a screenshot we get the domain information and we get a really quick view as to whether or not something is malicious but also as well you get to see the list of stuff that you've also previously analyzed let's have a look at this one so you can see this url i put in a few days ago um, so is malicious but and it also categorizes this as a, a url which downloads malware and so what's nice about this is as well as the domain information the redirect chain etc and those malicious indicators that we kind of saw if the url downloads loads of file Intercer will also analyze that file and give you a view as to whether or not that file is also malicious so as well as the url being malicious we can see that as well it, we have a classification that it's malicious and it leads to red line info stealer and so we know the downloaded file is here we can then jump into the analysis report of that particular file and then do the whole file based analysis that we're used to we can look at the ttps the iocs the behavior and of course the enterprise feature here of being able to detect and hunt 
this malware. So super easy mechanism for us to automate and to go and investigate URLs, determine whether or not there's any malicious behavior. And even better, if the URL leads to the download of a file, we're going to get a view on whether that file is malicious as well and all of the associated threat intelligence around it. Okay, so let's talk about one of the really cool plugins that Intezer have developed for their platform as well. In this case, there's a few plugins you can choose from. You should definitely check out the Chrome extension as well. I use it all the time where you can right click an indicator of compromise and just go and look up in the analysis platform what the uh, behavior is. But I'm going to talk to you today about the Ghidra plugin. So if you have a look on Ghidra, it's hosted on their GitHub. It's open sourced. You can see all of the information around it. But rather than we talk through their readme, let me show you this plugin in action. I'm going to flip to my virtual machine here. I've got this Black Matter ransomware. This is the same ransomware that I kind of alluded to earlier and showed in the platform. If I start by running Ghidra in here, my virtual machine here, I just fire it up. And then what we're going to see is actually a question which I get asked a really, really common amount of times across social media and also in the comment sections of these videos is kind of where do you start with your analysis, right? How the, when you open up an executable in a debugger, uh, or a disassembler, like where do you start actually poking around the code? What's malicious and what is not? So let's dive into, in Ghidra, in this particular example, this particular sample. So let's have a look at Black Matter. It's going to open up eventually, and it's going to start doing its analysis. It's going to ask me if I want to analyze this file. I'm just going to let it analyze it. Um, and away we go. So once it's analyzed this file, Ghidra just takes a few seconds to do that to kind of populate all of the uh, function exports and the uh, decompiler code, etc. So what we're interested in is working out what is the malicious behavior of this um, file itself. There's obviously a lot of just kind of basic operating system APIs that an executable is naturally going to have embedded inside of it. And I don't really want to waste my time analyzing all the stuff that's not really that important. I want to focus my time on the stuff that is pertinent to the actual malware itself. And that's where this uh, Ghidra plugin actually really helps you. So if you have a look at the sample in Ghidra, you can see there's loads of functions here. So you can see there's there's just millions of them. And so you can, you can poke around these at will, but I don't really know what these functions do yet because I've obviously not dived into them. And I don't really know whether or not they relate directly to the malware itself. And so I would like something to give me that kind of confidence. And so if you go into your script manager, and so in the script manager here, I've got a list of uh, all of the scripts that you can run across Ghidra. And I've installed, according to the uh, instructions in their GitHub, the, G the Ghidra uh, plugin for Intezer. And so you can just handily filter that out. It's a Python script, which will sit in your scripts directory. If you double click on that, and uh, it's going to execute it. If you go back here, we can see in the console window that this script is now running. And what it's going to do in just a second is actually give me a nice little pop-up box and that's going to show me all of the functions that are most relevant to this malware and more importantly tell me what malware that function actually equates to so you can see this function here is related to black matter ransomware Intezer have detected under the hood that this particular function has code genes that are related to black matter ransomware. You can see this function is related to dark side ransomware. And so there's a correlation between dark side and black matter as well. There's lots of intelligence about that. And also there's some a lot of crossover with malicious samples between black matter and dark side as well. But in this particular case, this function has been has had code reuse from dark side samples. So what's quite nice is I can zoom into these four functions without even knowing where they were in the in the kind of symbol tree i can dive straight into this and start analyzing actual malicious behavior so i can go into this function i can see i've got all of these stack variables being defined here and this is all to do with the routines the api kind of deobfuscation technique that black matter has embedded in it so i can dive straight into this and start analyzing the malware without wasting my time on all of the other stuff that really is not necessary i don't want to start at line zero and work out what every function does i just want to get straight into it and that's what this this amazing plugin is all about. So go back to their GitHub, you see the, the installation steps are really simple, just clone their repo, you need an Intezer API key, anyone in the community can do this, you don't need to be an enterprise user for this, you just add the path in the Ghidra plugin directory to the location where you've downloaded that Git repo, you upload the sample that you want to analyze to um, Intezer, so it's got all of the kind of intelligence behind the uh, analysis side of things, and then literally just run that script in your browser over the sample itself and you'll get that nice easy pop-up box and then you'll be able to focus your analysis.
Okay, and the last thing I want to talk to you about today is a particular feature that I found in this Analyze Scripts GitHub repo from Intezer, and in particular, this Python script called Cluster Directory. Cluster Directory will actually create a graph based on code reuse of malware samples that you supply this Python script, and it's awesome. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a really, really awesome webinar for 30 minutes of your life, which is well worth watching, and you'll learn about how to actually create these cluster graphs yourself based on malware. And in fact, Intezer have gone a step further and actually pulled down a list of malware samples associated to Russian APT threat groups and put them through this particular script and showcase the output. So this is what this actual script will produce is a file that's capable of demonstrating relationships between code. And so you can see very quickly from a whole host of malware samples how they interrelate with each other and actually where the points of interest really are. So you can zoom into this graph, for example, and see we've got a big cluster of black energy malware samples. And you can see that those black energy malware samples were one of those samples relates to pinch duke malware as well which obviously relates to other duke related samples but you can click each of these nodes in this graph you can get some details about the threat actors but also as well you can get links off to those threat reports within integer and you can go and see that code reuse and see how that sample relates to those different particular threat groups really awesome capability here and so all you have to do is just download a load of malware samples into a single directory you can run that script over it so if i go to my terminal window here it's just a simple we've got the cluster directory python script here we run python 3 cluster directory over a directory where you've got a load of files stored and the output will be a weird file type called a gexf file that file you can view in different graph viewers like gephi on a mac for example but also as well you can host it and display it in a browser much like they've displayed there and in fact this website has been open source so you can actually pull this code down yourself if you go into this Russia I'll link in the description of this video this particular github repo you can actually see the code to actually display this map within simple HTML so you can actually render that in a browser and go poking around all of these uh, code genes and see what malware relates to what so absolutely fascinating piece of code this really really is going to help people level up their game in terms of threat intelligence as well and really visualize the code reuse between malware samples is especially useful if you're analyzing multiple malware samples at once. So there we have it. We've seen some great features of the Intercept platform here today. We've covered their malware analysis engine, the new detect and hunt feature, which enables you to go threat hunting with confidence. We also looked at the power of their integration with the Sentinel-1 EDR platform, also how to analyze URLs and even the files dropped by malicious websites. And two bonus features which we covered was the Ghidra integration for those who like to deep dive into technical analysis, which is also keeping you intelligence driven. And finally, that really cool Python script, which enables you to visualize malicious code relationships. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been my pleasure to engage with you all here today as well. And thank you to Intercert for their continued support of my channel here on YouTube. Keep well, stay safe until the next one.